As far as introductions, again, I'm Chris Brazier, VP of Marketing and Sales at Slingshot by Workway. Um, I've been in home services or at least the contact center environment for about three years now, uh, previously with nurses and then now at this home services with Slingshot. We also have Meredith Shaw. She's a strategic account manager with Workwave. Interesting fact about Meredith is she was almost had her face on a milk carton. She, uh, she was a missing person for a very short period, um, shorter than we'd uh, probably than me speaking, but it almost happened. And she could tell that story if she wants to. Um, and Cameron, uh, you know, is probably a freak of nature. He's very tall, built, uh, great basketball player, and started on Slingshot's call floor many years ago, probably about five years ago. So we will work with Meredith and Cameron. Why don't you guys go ahead and say hi to everybody? Hey guys, glad you guys could join us. Yeah, thanks for jumping on. I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot. Looking forward to it. So as we get started, the first question is going to go to Meredith. So tell us why is first contact resolution so important? Yep. So, you know, as the phrase goes, phone tag, it, it's really not as fun as it sounds. So, you know, first contact resolution, essentially, it means solving the customer's request within that first contact. Um, that could be through phone, text, chat. And, you know, there's a lot of reasons and data behind that to show that this can have fantastic results for the customer experience. Um, so, for example, you know, number one, customer retention. Customers love a company that can, you know, quickly and easily resolve their problems. Second, it's going to be, you know, winning over a dissatisfied customer. So, if you're able to fix a customer's issue in just one short, simple phone call, that customer, you know, that could change their mind about your company. Number three, it's gonna be simplify your workflow. Um, so decreasing the number of callbacks and voicemails, you know, that will prevent tasks from piling up and overwhelming your employees. And then lastly, number four is just less mistakes. So, you know, less transferring calls to the wrong person, no more accidentally hanging up on customers or forgetting to enter incidents. You know, all of that can be eliminated with the first contact resolution. And, you know, first contact resolution, it also just simplifies the buyer journey and it's going to help make that more efficient. So beginning and completing a request on that channel that you started on or, you know, with that same person within that same conversation, that's just going to make the buying process easier. And, and Meredith, given, you know, we're talking about mostly, you know, pest control today, why, why is this a, a challenge? Why is having first contact resolution such a challenge? It's a great question. You know, I mean, voicemail, that's like the arch nemesis of customer service. So, you know, I'm sure everyone on this call is familiar. There's also a few challenges with staffing, communication and service that are just always going to be present, <laughs> present, excuse me. Um, you know, first, when staff goes home at five, about 25% of sales calls happen after that time. So, you know, a customer just now comes home, they find that pest and they give you guys a call. But, you know, how often are they actually leaving a voicemail? Fewer than one in five people do leave a voicemail. And then, you know, how fast are operators responding? So, you know, within the office, we know it gets busy, leads can get missed, but you know, responses do need to be less than, you know, five minutes and about 74% of customers actually select the vendor that responds first to them and adds value. And then the next one is just when things are getting busy at the office. So, you know, leaving someone waiting too long, that can be really frustrating and, you know, they can often drop off or hang up. Um, so texting is a new platform for some operators. You know, it's one that's emerging, um, you know, also just due to the ease of, you know, doing business by text, which is nice. You know, there's a, there's also some pieces to this that uh, we've actually found at Slingshot that your sales calls will hold for about 60 seconds on average, as said here, but even customers will hold about three to four times that. Um, and even then, you know, they could get frustrated, call back another time, but still less likely to leave a voicemail. Um, you know, all of these things are kind of driving what happens within an office. You, some of the, those that are attending may have, you know, one CSR, may have a call center of five or 10 or 11 people. Um, 
you know, a lot of these things need to be thought in this terms of service level and utilization. So Meredith, before I ask you your question, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of explain what this is. Um, this is a measurement of how busy reps are and, and how quickly they respond. So when service level is high, uh, that essentially means that reps aren't that busy and your costs to uh, essentially service that customer goes up. When service level is low, reps are too highly utilized and, and so they are uh, not getting to the calls in an efficient manner. And although you're probably spending less, it's probably the least efficient customer experience. Um, so Meredith, in your experience, you know, you've had a, a lot of years in this industry um, and uh, probably a lot of calls when you went missing, but you know, tell me what, what's your, been your experience when it's you know, a high utilization, low service level? Yeah, no, I mean, running a call center, it's just really not what owners and operators typically expect when they enter this business, but you know, that is a big part of it, um, you know, cause then they have to manage abandoned calls. You have to deal with upset customers, agent burnout, hiring, um, you know, so with those long hold times as well, performance, you know, it typically suffers with close rates and, you know, agents are getting tired of always being on the phone, a variety of other problems with staffing and, you know, the end result of that kind of brings us to our next slide as well. So, you know, with this global pandemic, we've also now created a labor shortage. Um, so according to Forbes and, you know, many other employment research centers, 60% of owners have reported a shortage of labor and 20% of them said it was critical to business operations. And then as shown, 80% reported a loss of sales with that shortage. Yeah, thanks, Meredith. This we shared this in another webinar last a uh, couple of weeks ago, actually, and I, I used two examples, and you've probably done this too. But the prime one is Delta. Whenever I actually love using Delta, um, and I actually really like the fact they have other ways to connect, so I can text them and manage most anything. I don't have to sit on the phone, but if you call, you're probably on a three-hour wait. And the whole thing comes up that, you know, we are experiencing large call volume and, and a labor challenge. You know, please uh, be patient as we get this. So there's a lot of even pest control companies that are offering that language on their website and on their call recordings. The last example, I think McDonald's had, uh, there was, it went kind of viral that they were hiring 14 year olds and I have a 13 year old and I don't think I would, I would trust my child to be making any type of, uh, hot warm food or near, near a stove so certainly a, a, a unique economic labor challenge right now for pest operators so um yeah thanks Mark. anything else from you no i mean that's pretty much it i'd say you know majority of the conversations i've been having with a lot of my customers a lot of people are experiencing these problems particularly with the labor shortage so i know it's something that you know a lot of business owners are facing right now so I'll show you a, a little curveball here. What excites you most is this kind of union of Slingshot and WorkWave together. What has this kind of excited you the most? Yeah, I like just being able to, you know, offer more solutions to my customers. Um, a lot of them do report like the issues with staffing, like I've said. So any way that I can, you know, help them kind of work through that or provide a solution, a recommendation, it's nice to just kind of have another, you know, tool in my toolbox, which is great. Cool. Thanks, Meredith. Um, you know, there. I'm going to kind of. We talked about this when the acquisition had happened, and this is the direction of what Slingshot is doing. And we'll we'll show you a little bit of that in the future uh, of this webinar. But the future of contact centers, it's it's about 24/7 availability and automation. And so, Meredith, thank you for kind of describing the first contact resolution. You know, Slingshot is set up to qualify, sell, and schedule new customers 24/7 without the back office work allowing you to you know, turn those missed calls um, or calls on hold into uh, contracts. And so we provide visibility, we provide some efficiency by being able to handle customer concerns, um, and then 360 reporting. The, the, one of the best parts about being part of the WorkWave family is enhancing the integration. Uh, previously to the acquisition, we, were, we already had one of the best integrations with them. Um, and this is the way we kind of think about it um you know there's four different types of integrations first customer sync that is allowing our agents when someone calls to pull up the customer's information 
to be able to see some of their details um, within our web app. And so we will talk about how some of that works. The other thing is once we make a new sale to have that new account created so that you're not worrying on double entry. So once our agents make a sale, um, that information is added to uh, PestPack within uh, a new location and the service order is added uh, to that customer record. So um, again, eliminating a lot of the backend work. Uh, payments and scheduling is, is essentially the evolution. Uh, some of these things are available uh, via our chat bots, via our web chat, via um, our customer information panel, which I'll show in just a second. But these are the places where we're enhancing it. So for example, payments is not only being able to, an agent can see a customer balance in the billing information, but can also trigger off a request for payment via text or email. And so some of those things are being enhanced as we speak. And then scheduling um, based off of uh, best fit is coming up soon. Um, for some of our teams, we can actually log in to PestPack and do some of these pieces, but to have it automated in our forms is something we're continuing to develop. So these are the four ways we talk about the integrations. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and on the next slide, we actually have the most recent enhancements, and we call this the customer information um, panel. So billing and, and payment requests, um, latest conversations and the history of scheduled visits are now all available on the right sidebar of the Slingshot dashboard. So if you haven't seen it yet, you know, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this little icon right here. If uh, your account is integrated with most of our PestPack clients or are, are integrated, it'll pop up these contact details. And so as you're reviewing the interaction that either our agent had or uh, a text conversation or a web chat, you'll be able to see their plans, the appointments, the billing method, um, and then any of the conversations within um, that piece. Um, and then we go ahead and the chat bot, if you haven't seen it, um, it's something we launched um, earlier this year. We revealed it at uh, Pest World um, last year, virtually, of course. But it essentially, we have two different kinds. We have the one on the left-hand side, which is the qualification piece. It just collects their information, so you have it going into the response. Uh, whether or not we respond or our client, uh, you respond to the customer directly. And then the other one is an example of our chat bot. So allowing someone to reschedule a service or make a payment is available to our clients right now. And you know this helps, you know, both of them reduce kind of the overall conversation time, but also improve the quality. And getting that access to the customer information is a lot easier um, for that first contact resolution. So Cam will actually show some of these uh, pieces as we walk through the platform. So Cam, I'm going to allow you to kind of share your screen and jump in here. But we're going to talk here about the forms that our agents use. We're going to talk about once those forms are submitted, the dashboard, the slingshot dashboard that you as a client would use, and then the central inbox, uh, our main you know, communications platform for text, phone, chat, uh, and email leads as well. So. I'm going to go ahead and make you the presenter and go ahead and take off from there. Thank you, Chris. Can you see my screen okay? We can. Perfect. So this is Rose Pest Solutions. They're located in Michigan, Ohio area. They've actually allowed us to kind of use them as an example. So what you're looking at here is actually our scripting form. So this is what a slingshot rep will see whenever we take a phone call for your your company. So for Rose, you know, everything that's in this blue text in the gray box here, it's, you know, thanks for calling Rose Pest Solutions. This is Cameron, who I have the pleasure of speaking with. You can see this is the script. So the first thing we're trying to determine is, hey, are you a current customer with us? And based on what the customer tells us, we'll, we'll go ahead and fill out this form. So for example, in this example here, if it's a new customer, um, you know, we can ask how they heard about you. And you can see that this is a customizable kind of drop down list we can go ahead and collect any additional information that you would like us to. Now, if it's a current customer or, you know, they've previously used your service, um, this is the customer sync option. So if I go ahead and search this, what this is actually searching is your pest pack current clients, your current customers here. So um, for example, if I select on Doug, this is gonna auto-populate some information. 
for our slingshot reps so that we don't have to confirm it. We can just know, oh, this is Doug Jones and the customer's inside the service area and it's covered by the Metro West office. Now, if I change the zip code, if I do a city that's outside of the service area, it'll automatically tell our slingshot rep, hey, this customer is actually outside of the service area. But going back to it, um, you know, in this situation, they're located by, um, they have multiple offices. We can go ahead and fill this out. So we can grab as much or as little information as you want us to grab. For example, this is a customized uh, question that Rose asks us to ask our cus their customers on every single phone call, which is please double check with the customer to see if they're a current occupant or if they're renting out the home to someone else. Um, as we fill this out, you know, you can see that some things pop up. So if I select ants, some pictures of ants will kind of populate for the slingshot rep so we can try and identify what type of ants they might be dealing with over the phone. Now, I know there's a lot to look at. I'm just gonna kind of briefly blow through this here, but you know, when it comes down to scheduling, um, we can even you know, schedule during a protocol that we'll set up together. Um, but if I go ahead and uh, select this, then at this point, we can actually schedule. And Rosa said, hey, you can schedule next day appointments with an afternoon window or you can do two days out with a two hour window. So in this situation, you know, we can have this scripting form guide the slingshot rep through the call and ask any particular questions that you want us to grab, including us collecting payment information, grabbing the email address and going through the whole nine yards. Now, as soon as I push submit, a lot of this information will flow directly into PestPack, directly as a lead, a new location with a service order, and it also goes into our dashboard. Before I moved on, if you have questions about the scripting form, you're welcome to message in, or if Chris wanted to add in anything here, otherwise I can move on to the, um, the dashboard. We have a couple of questions, but we'll be answering them a little later. So you're good, Cameron. Great. So this is an example of what our dashboard looks like. So let me try and blow this up a little bit so you can see it. Um, this is actually a real customer, and we've kind of edited this um, to try and not uh, show too sensitive information, but you can see that this is a customer, Sandra, that Slingshot sold actually on September 25th uh, for this company located in California. So again, this is real customer information, and you can see that September 25th was a Saturday, the office was closed, on, and we ended up selling this customer. So you can see that we grabbed the phone number, email address, address here, how they heard about you, was an existing customer of theirs, um, the credit card information, social security, you can see what time window was given for the customer, what service plan they signed up for, what exactly, you know, they were dealing with some black widow spiders, some wolf spiders. Um, all of this information is hosted on our dashboard as well as be pushed directly into your um, CRM. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner, this green check mark said that, hey, it worked. If I click on it, you can see the pest pack lead was created successfully and it actually automatically created a new location with a service order attached as well. So this is where you can see any, you know, if any new customer entry, you know, current customer, a quotable service is, you know, anything that requires an on-site visit. We can set up these and this will come directly into our dashboard. So this is the slingshot representative that took the phone call. Um, and then right here in the bottom right hand corner, you can see here's the entire call recording. So all of our calls are recorded so you can listen to them and make sure that we're doing a good job for you and your company. So this is, you know, a slingshot interaction where slingshot actually made this sale. And then there's a report feature where you can run some reports. So this is kind of the basic report feature where you can just run a report. You know, for example, this company in California um, in the past, you know, since August 1st, we've taken about 168 interactions. You can see 17 of them were new sales. 36 of them were kind of these on-site estimates no sales where we didn't close it over the phone, but are still a good lead, current customers, you know, people disconnecting before the phone calls answered outside the service area, all, all that good stuff here. There's quite a bit of reporting in here. I mentioned here too, um, I, I, the, the ability to drill down if you click on any of those yeah. individual pieces. I know you probably won't be doing it for this one, but it allows you to kind of drill down within each of those filter, I guess, is, is the also the word, right? Yeah, exactly. And Going back to it, in this view, you know, I, I didn't mention it, but you can actually leave internal comments so you can see that they set it up and scheduled it, they double checked it within PestPack. This is an internal comment. You can have some tags similar to what Chris was saying. You can filter by, you know, new customers, by 
customer type here, you can archive it as soon as you're done with it. So you know, oh, okay, this was a slingshot sale and it's all taken care of and you can archive it and move on. There. But thank you, Chris. Um, and then, you know, we have quite a few reports. I'll just show a couple of them for time's sake, but you can track our close rate. Again, this is real customer data. You can see, you know, what's our close rate since August 1st to make sure that we're doing a good job for you. You can see exactly how they're hearing about you, which this is one of my favorite reports. It's a lead source report. So if you remember back on that scripting form, one of the first questions we asked them was, hey, how'd you hear about us? And we understand that um, marketing tracking is super important and we can actually have that auto populate based on the phone number that they're calling, or we can just ask the customer, hey, how'd you hear about you know, XYZ pest control? So we can even drill down. So based on the lead source, you know, you can track our close rate based on the lead source, the total number of messages, the total number of new sales that are coming in on these different channels, the average contract value, the total value of these calls. So that you can see, okay, what am I spending with marketing with these different avenues? And then what, what, what is actually, you know, being closed on a high level? Um, I had one last one, but Chris, before I moved on, was there anything else you want to add to these other two reports? Uh, no, I didn't have anything. I think uh, you'll be talking about kind of central inbox as well. Yeah. Um, do, do you want to also reference kind of the notifications for when these new entries come in? Yeah. Maybe, so that maybe going back a little bit. But. No, that's that's great. So as soon as we're done with a phone call, um, it will flow directly into your pass pack. It'll come in our dashboard, and then we can also send you know some some notifications. So you can see here that we're sending some emails to some of their. We can also send a text message. So anytime that we make a sale, you can be notified via email, text, or if you just want to passively look at the dashboard each morning. A lot of people do that instead of having to check voicemails or call people back or track down missed calls. Instead, you're just looking at this dashboard and saying, oh, this is pretty nice. Sandra's a new customer and all that information will be already directly in your press pack. Um, and then again, part of, part of the reports, um, this is, probably the most impactful report that we have, which is the new revenue report. This kind of shows our ROI. And again, you can kind of see, okay, since August, Slingshot has actually sold 19,000 in new revenue. Now this is annualized revenue, but you can see, you know, based on these new customers, this bi-monthly program contributed to this 19,000. So you can always say, okay, what am I paying for Slingshot? You know, and then what are they actually selling for me? So you can drill down and you can look at each individual, whether it's an on-site estimate that turned into new revenue or it's a new customer that signed up over the phone with a slingshot agent. We track all of this very thoroughly so that you can always run some reports and say, okay, what am I paying for slingshot? And then what are they selling for me? The potentially is missed revenue that might be going to the competition or might be running off you know, somewhere else. So I'll move on now to you know, the central inbox. What I've shown you from now is basically everything that a slingshot agent would do on your behalf. We've also invested quite a bit of uh, new technology into a central inbox where you can actually um, have these interactions all in, in one place. So if in the example here where um, someone is using our chat, um, this is actually the new feature that I wanted to show is if someone chats in, you can see this is actually frontline pest control. They've allowed us to use them as an example. Um, if you are with pest pack and with slingshot, you can use our chat service for free. Um, you can actually use our chat service internally. You can use as many messages as you want. You can see this is a chat that's kind of going back and forth. And then off to the right, there's some additional information that is auto populating directly from pest pack. So this is Courtney, again, a real customer of um frontline pest control you know again we've tried to blur out some of this for too sensitive information but you can see what plan she's on what appointments she's recently had the billing that's been set up and then you can actually see within the slingshot uh interaction what are the recent conversations so you can see that um she recently had a web chat about two days ago um and you can go back and view past history if, if there's been multiple web chats from the same customer and so you can be chatting back and forth with your customers directly in our system, or you can outsource it to us and we'll respond on your behalf. So that's actually what I wanted to show next was a live example. But before I moved on, Chris, was there anything else you wanted me to show here? 
Um, I think on the left hand side is probably a good perspective to see all the, how all the different inboxes work together. Um, you know, you have a web leads inbox, a web chat inbox, an, an SMS text inbox there, and then a Facebook. You're probably going to show us the Facebook, but I, I like the yeah. view of how Frontline is laid out here. Exactly. So, um, yeah, off to the left, really what we've tried to reduce is, you know, a lot of people have millions of tabs open at the same time, and it's hard if you're going to be messaging back and forth, whether it's on Facebook, email, a live web chat, or texting. We've consolidated it into one spot so that you can be chatting back and forth with your customers and then easily toggle to a text message interaction or to a web chat. Um, so that's actually what I wanted to show now was, was just a live example of that. So um, this is, again, just kind of a dummy example uh, website. So for example, um, the power of Slingshot, you can start to advertise, hey, call or text anytime. We'll enable your phone number to be text enabled. Visit us on Facebook, fill out a contact form. You know, so if they fill out a contact form here, I'll just do an example one for Tom Brady. If you know, if Tom Brady is getting some ants and he submits this to your website, normally this can uh, go to you and your team, just to a normal inbox. But with Slingshot, you can actually see here um, that you'll get an email lead, and you can see exactly. Oh, here's Tom Brady. Um, you can assign this to someone. So if you have multiple users in here. And if Alex is in charge of anyone with ants, um, you can assign it to different technicians, you can assign it to different you know, office staff so they can assign it there. So this is a central location, sorry, a centralized inbox where you can leave internal comments. You can say, hey, Alex, can you take this lead? That's an internal comment that you can leave there and then you can actually assign this to Alex. So then when Alex is logged in, um, he can actually um, respond um, to this, this web lead. The other one I wanted to show briefly was this, um, this Facebook message. So if someone were to go to your Facebook page and they say, hey, I have some ants. Um, as if you're logged into our dashboard, you can get a notification that pops up that says, oh, someone needs some help with ants. And then you can respond to the customer directly in here. So as you can see, you can be toggling back and forth between the email lead from Tom Bray, between the Facebook messenger from Cameron, and then you can actually respond directly in here. So you can have some canned responses. So, you know, thanks for reaching out. We do offer warranty and all ant services where they're located. And as soon as you push submit, um, this actually goes directly um, to the Facebook Messenger. And you can see that it's in the native Facebook platform. So you can be chatting back and forth with the customer. Again, leave some internal comments. You can assign this to a specific user. Um, and then if you ever want Slingshot to take over, you can set up some logic in here. So you can say, okay, after hours, any Facebook message that comes in after five o'clock, let's have Slingshot take over this conversation. Or if you want to outsource it always, or after a certain number of seconds, it's pretty simple in here. You could just go into your settings and you can go to any of these kind of inboxes and you can say, okay, anytime that a web chat comes through, if we don't respond within, you know, one minute or within two minutes. Let's have Slingshot take over that conversation. So anywhere where you're looking like, hey, we want some help, Slingshot, we're happy to do as much or as little as you would like. And our um, and our technology here, you can use this platform internally to be chatting back and forth using Facebook Messenger, jumping over to a text message conversation. And more of this information is being auto-populated. So if you click on the Customers tab, that'll actually be popping up all of your Pestpack customers. So you can send a text message to any of your um, current customers within, within the integration that we have set up here. So I've been yeah. talking a lot, Chris. Is there anything else yeah, you wanted to add? Cameron. I, I think that we've covered just about everything. Um, on the side, I've been, um, I go ahead and building answers to some of the questions that have already come in. And so um, we'll, we'll allow some other questions to come in about the platform. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and change presenter back to myself. Here we are. So some of the questions that have come in that I'm going to go ahead and answer are there industry standards on what you know a CSR cost um, or what a company should pay a call tech center agent per hour? And so I I went ahead and added a, a couple of slides to talk about some of these things. Now Cameron, you work with a couple of clients out in California, so this may not be true anymore. What was the last cost uh, to someone that was paying uh, a CSR? 
Yeah, so the last person I talked to, they they found to be competitive in their particular market, they were having to pay about $25 an hour, plus, you know, PTO, payroll benefits and all that. So different markets, CSRs, office staff are becoming increasingly more expensive. Yeah, I think that this is, we need to update this deck, uh, also what Meredith talked about, but, you know, just at a, an agent at $20 an hour, $15 an hour, you're looking at total annual costs of about 40000 to 54000 And the way that uh, Cameron typically describes it is that we're kind of like an accordion employee. You use this as much or as little uh, as you need us, um, and, and you're not having to pay for the, the benefits packages, the training. Um, you know, you kind of begin with a trained CSR already, and you're not having to spend three, four months training them on how to use PestPack or how to answer phones. And so... That's one of the great uh, examples. As far as like an, an average for the industry, um, these are averages for um, not necessarily the pest control, but just average call center hours. Um, our agents are paid about $18 an hour to, to $20 an hour. And of course, we're able to utilize them across a number of clients, so it makes it more efficient, but that should give you some perspective um there's a couple of questions cameron i might oh there's another piece here that was asked about roi and and uh, as you were showing that report cameron on new revenue so i grabbed another piece that we've showed recently uh this is a number of our clients that recently were implemented and it shows the number of total interactions what percentage or number of those were sales calls or new customer calls uh what they spent with a slingshot for those and then what the new revenue collected was and so we have a pretty identifiable lucky because we we manage that point of sale conversation that first contact resolution that we can qualify someone sale and then schedule and collect payment and so Cameron I'm going to leave that question to you that came up is how, how do you collect credit cards and, and are you billing auto pay so go ahead and get that one if you can Great question. Yeah. So all of our reps are PCI compliant and we actually have a, a third party tool, which is pretty awesome, where when it comes to collecting payment information, typically we're conferencing them in and the customer will be typing the credit card information directly on their dial pad. So in that way, Slingshot agents actually never see the credit card information and then it's hosted securely in our dashboard. Again, everything is data encrypted, so you can copy and paste it directly into your pest pack and then you would actually process the payment as you normally would. So in that way, we can collect it. And then to the second question, we can kind of do whatever you would like us to. So on every single sale, we are attempting to collect the credit card and we are attempting to put them on auto pay, given that most of our clients prefer that method. Um, if you're willing to lose a sale because of it, you know, we can actually, we have a number of clients that say, hey, a credit card is required to put on file before we can schedule an appointment and we can tell that, or, you know, if you prefer us to, um, you know, offer cash payment or a, you know, technician sale to kind of, you know, save the sale, but on every single phone call, every single interaction, we are going to attempt to close them, collect payment information and put them on auto pay. Perfect. Uh, Cameron, one other question here is uh, agents, where, where are they located? I don't know if we had, we had covered that. So thanks for the question. Yeah, great question. So all of our agents are stateside um, and it makes it really nice that going into the phone call, um, we are so specialized with pest control and lawn. So we know the industry like the back of our hand and going into the phone call, we know the difference between an oriental roach and maybe a German roach. And we know the difference between an active termite infestation, maybe a WDI or a WDO report. So going into the phone call, these agents are all stateside, really friendly, great sounding reps that have a background in pest control and lawn so that we can be able to plug in and however you sound on the phone, we can follow your script, your pricing, your programs and build guarantee and, you, and build, a, um, build value in your reoccurring service. Yeah, thank you. One, one kind of question from me, Cameron, and this is, I, I think, you know, kind of summing this up here, how, how kind of central inbox, that's something that's been developed at Slingshot for the last year and having all the phone, text, chat, you know, how does that make a client or someone attendee here more competitive in their market? Or um, you know, how does that make them better than the other, you know, pest control company down the street? 
Yeah, well, first and foremost, um, I don't know if you've ever Googled pest control near me or pest control near your city, but on Google and on Yelp, there's a very red, you know, hey, we're closed or hey, we're open. So a lot of people, when they plug Slingshot in, they start to advertise that they're open 24 seven. And that just helps stand out from the competition. So when Mrs. Jones gets home from work late at night and there's, you know, an ant or a mouse screen across the kitchen, she does a Google search, she'll show up as open. So that first and foremost will help you stand out from the competition. And to your point, Chris, we have invested a lot of technology into these text-based um, communication platforms. So more and more people like to communicate via text, via chat, via Facebook Messenger. And so being able to answer on every single channel, every single time in a speedily manner, um, someone might be reaching out to you on, on a Facebook or send a contact form. And we, we have a saying around here that the first one there wins. So whether you and your team use our tool to consolidate some communication to one platform so that nothing slips through the cracks, or you utilize our live agents to respond, you're gonna see an increase of new customer volume just because you're responding faster than your competition can with, without using Slingshot services and agents. Okay, we had another question come in, Cameron. So thank you. Um, on a previous screen, we talked about the number of interactions. What We've been using that terminology a couple of times. Um, you know, what does interaction means and number of sales calls? And I'll probably jump back here to that reference. Yeah, yeah, you can show it. So interactions for us is just the, you know, the, the total number of inbound inquiries that Slingshot has helped out with, whether it's a, a web chat, a text message, or a phone call. We do have reports that can kind of break down what happened on that chat or what happened on that phone call, whether it was us actually converting it into a new customer that signed up or setting up an on-site estimate, or if it's a current customer message that we're submitting there. Um, in that report, we, we do track every interaction, whether it's a call, you know, email or text message in, inbound. Perfect, thank you. Um, Cameron, if the people want to get a hold of uh, and they want to understand more, you know, how do they get a hold of you? Oh, well, that's my direct email right there. <laughs> um, I would love to give a specific, you know, demo for you and your company, see what it's like in your market, and you know, we would love to help out in anywhere where you're seeing some gaps, whether that's overflow calls during the day, you know, after hours, evenings, weekends calls for a lot of people is a no-brainer, um, or you know, using our our um, our central inbox feature so you can consolidate some of the communication in one platform. Um, feel free to reach out directly to me or, you know, email sales at, at workridge.com. Perfect. Uh, thank you, Meredith. Uh, thank you, Cameron, for your help. Um, we hope that everyone found uh, today's overview of first contact resolution and central inbox and the Slingshot platform useful in, you know, trying to be more competitive in your market as, as we know, you know, 74%, the number that Meredith shared before, 74% um, of consumers uh, will select the consumer that responds first. And so getting that response uh, quickly is, is why we live by the motto, answer first, answer fast. So if there's any, um, if there's any other questions, uh, I want to thank everybody and thank WorkWave uh, for having us uh, present today on today's webinar. And you should all be receiving information on your uh, free lunch. So appreciate it. Thank you all.